Aaron Houston here, Executive Director of Students for Sensible Drug Policy. Uh, so we've just in engaged in an exciting campaign uh, called Just Say Now. SSDP is a co-partner with Fire Dog Lake in the Just Say Now campaign. And you should have received some materials from us in the mail already, uh, a Just Say Now kit. So you received the kit in the mail, uh, now what? Uh, a Just Say Now kit. So you received the kit in the mail, uh, now what? Well, sim simply stated, the goal is to gather petition signatures to legalize marijuana. In this short video, we'll go over five things. One, how can my chapter participate in the Just Say Now campus challenge to legalize marijuana? Number two, how can I get started? Number three, what should I say? Number four, how do I respond to common concerns? And number five, I've filled up the petition signature sheets, now what do I do? How can my chapter participate in the Just Say Now campaign to legalize marijuana? Online, visit uh, our website at firedoglake.com slash just say now slash students and scroll down to find your school. The entry forms are specific to each chapter so you can find uh, people, you can share it on Facebook uh, or other social networks. Number two, how can I get started? On campus, you can grab your materials and start talking to people. Set up in high traffic areas on campus, such as outside dining halls, dorm buildings, class buildings, libraries, anywhere that there will be a lot of foot traffic. Um, you want to start as early in the day as possible so that you can reach as many people before the sun goes down. During your collection efforts, ask your friends to come help you collect the signatures. Uh, also, send a message to your SSDP chapter through Facebook, through your email list server, or any other communication channels you use with people. Let them know what you're doing. Let them know that you need their help. Uh, you need them to be part of this. Ask your professors if you can make announcements in your classes. You could say something, for example, Hi, my name is Stacia. I'm a member of our school's chapter of Students for Sensible Drug Policy. I am working on collecting signatures for the Just Say Now campaign to legalize marijuana. If anyone is interested, you can meet me after class by the picnic tables or wherever it is that you'll have people meet you. Set up a table on campus. This is probably the most important and most effective way to recruit for your SSDP chapter in general, and also to collect Just Say Now petition signatures. Usually you'll need to speak with an administrator or someone else in your school to reserve a table. You can always purchase your own table and set up wherever you like, just make sure that you are uh, not stepping on the toes of anyone who owns that property. Make your table attractive. You can display posters, stickers, other literature, materials um, that have to do with this campaign and with Students for Sensible Drug Policy. And uh, when people come over to the table to check out what you've got, then you can ask them if they're interested in signing the Just Say Now petition. Include a donation jar or a volunteer sign-up sheet in case people are really interested and they want to get involved and go above and beyond just signing, just signing the petition. Okay, number three. What should I say? As people pass the table, uh, ask them engaging questions like, for example, do you believe that marijuana should be legal? Uh, you can also say, do you have a minute to talk about marijuana policy? Do you think that marijuana should be legal for adults? Are you a supporter of uh, sensible drug laws? If you get a question that you don't know the answer to, simply say you don't know the answer, and uh, you can email someone else in your chapter, someone else in our national office, and they can get, get the answer to that question for you. Once you've determined that the person you're talking to is supportive, ask them to sign the petition. Be sure to thank them and remind them to visit JustSayNow.com if they'd like to learn more about the campaign. If it seems like the person you're talking to is not supportive, engage in a, engage in a civil and polite debate. Ask them why they're opposed to the issue and refute their claims using the talking points and statistics you familiarized yourself with earlier. Don't feel discouraged when people say no. You can't win them all. Don't be disrespectful. If an encounter is escalating beyond your comfort level, thank the person for their time and agree to disagree. Number four, some frequently asked questions. Some responses that you might encounter that might be a little bit difficult to answer. This is just some sort of pot smoking group. You just all want to smoke pot, something like that. Um, it, any type of insinuation that um, this has anything to do with personal drug use. Um, an easy comeback to that is to say that Students for Sensible Drug Policy neither condemns nor condones the use of drugs. We're not here to talk about whether drugs are good or bad. We're here to talk about if the policies work or not. Some people may say, well, marijuana is already legal in California, and it's already legal in Colorado, for example, in some of these states. So it's not legal. Uh, people are still going to jail for it, and that is something to emphasize. A record number of people have been arrested for marijuana possession in past years alone, according to FBI statistics. So marijuana is very much not legal right now. Um, there are very good reasons to tax it and regulate it. So just say now to marijuana regulation. If someone is hesitant to put their information down for fear of being targeted by law enforcement or uh, the government in some way, uh, reassure them that this is protected speech under the First Amendment. 
and that it is more than within their rights to uh, express their opinions on this and other political issues. There's never been in the history of the U.S. someone who has been arrested and prosecuted for signing their name on a petition to legalize marijuana. It is unconstitutional and illegal for someone to target you because of your political affiliation or political speech. So just remember that and that if you don't protect your constitutional rights, no one else is going to do it for you. So now is the time to speak out. Now is the time to not be afraid anymore. The times are really changing and this is becoming a more and more uh, mainstream issue. And we need everyday people who agree with this to speak out about it because there's nothing wrong with speaking out about this important issue. So we are in a critical time in this country, uh, in the history of this country, where we are so close to legalizing marijuana. But guess what? We were there as well only 30 years ago, and we lost the opportunity then. So we have a closing window of opportunity right now, and it is all of our responsibilities to uh, make sure that we do what we can in that window of opportunity um, to stop our horrible drug laws and to end marijuana prohibition. All right, number five. Now I've filled up all my petition sheets. Now what do I do? Excellent question. This is a great problem to have. You can download more petition signature sheets at justsaynow.com. Looking for the online form to enter your signatures into the sheets for the campus challenge? Visit firedoglake.com slash justsaynow slash students. If you have any additional questions or run into any problems, don't hesitate to contact a member of SSDP staff and we're here to help you. And remember, there's never been a better time to get involved. The time for reform is now. So please, help us out. Get out there with your stickers and your sign-up sheets and get more people into the fight. Let's make history. Let's make marijuana legal.